I'm being mean. So you, you have to, you have to, I, you, I don't know how you will have to deal with this. I don't know if there is what? a way a to, to deal. What, Tiana? Oh my god. Okay, but don't, don't be a smart ass with me. Okay, anyways. Um, I don't think there is a way that we're going to be able to do the North Korean situation with China involved. Or with, with China, you'll have, you'll have to get China on board, and eventually it'll happen. Eventually China will get fed up with them, and they'll just either allow it to happen or tell us what territory we're allowed to take, and the rest is theirs or whatever. You know what I mean? I just say give China North Korea. You know, I say the only problem I get. They're, they're not going to do that. But the, the problem, that's another problem. Is that they can't? They their economy would collapse if they tried to envelop the entire North Korean population. It would destroy their economy to the point of no recovery. That's the problem South Korea will face when it happens. They will not be able to unify the Koreas immediately. It'll be 20 plus years before they can even think about unifying 100%. You will still have to have same. They would all be one country, but separate blocks. So it'd be like East Germany and West Germany. You know what I mean? It's not not as bad, yeah. but separate. Because they're, the South Korean economy couldn't handle it, and the U.S. economy could not handle it. So that's a good point, actually. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. So you had to look at it like that. There's also an economic issue that happens along with taking out North Korea. So, and then another thing would be going through, and. They would have to prosecute all people in higher ranks of power, regardless of if they did anything wrong or not. Like, because you, it, it, if you don't, if you only take out Kim Jong Un, then you're still going to have his military leaders, and maybe the military leaders aren't as crazy as him, but they're still dictators. So yeah, you can't have them in power. I keep them for a little bit because it's going to be a necessity to keep peace, you know, but. But also, too, another thing that you also are talking about, too, is because South Korea also handled the North Korean immigrant, immigrants, so. Yeah, they do. They, either. they do small amounts, but they, there's no way they could support, because that's another thing. There's going to be massive refugees after this war. Like, ma yeah, massive. And essentially, also, too, another thing is, too, it's such if nukes get fired <laughs> into North Korea. Let's say, for example, they shoot theirs off and we stop them down and immediately well, retaliate see, with it. I, I don't think, I don't that? think we would retaliate with that because there's no need. This isn't the Soviet, this isn't Russia we're dealing with. If we manage to shoot down their, all their nuclear warheads, then they have nothing that they can fling back. There's no reason. There's no, there's no such thing as North Korean mutual destruction. Like we're they're not that big. They're, we're not that afraid of North Korean nuclear missiles. So, and considering I mean, their missiles aren't even that that good of quality, so, and they can't they can't mass produce them. Even if they could build an, even if they could, even if this new missile they built is could considered be it could be technically considered an ICBM and could reach, can they mass produce them? Okay. Later, guys. I don't believe they can mass produce them. Like, See, honestly, I, 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 I think Chicago, what needs to be say. done is South Korea needs to be flooded with dad systems, like a shitload of them. Like, we need to start mass producing really them good. in the general to begin with. I don't know why we're not focused on mass producing those fuckers. You know, even if they're only have an 80% hit rate, if you have enough of them, they won't matter. The missiles, don't, missiles won't matter, the numbers. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, and like... Like I said, I know for damn sure we'll be able to shoot out North Korean missiles. We can't then. Whoever built the DAX system needs to look at that. Well, thing. I know that the but long have, range like, what, one saying... is built to take out the, the 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 Russians' best ones. You know, the the fastest ones they have. That's what they're targeting as. That's what an 80% shoot down rate is. And I guarantee North Korean's missiles are nowhere near. Even their new ones are nowhere near as good as even some of the Soviet the era Russians missiles they have. Yeah, so. Just... Also. I'm... The, the best thing that could happen is that they go to war, they do that initial strike, realize they fucked up, and then surrender. Because if you can get them surrender before a lot of their infrastructures, what little infrastructure they have is destroyed, 
then you could possibly keep a big chunk of the poor population there. You know what I mean? And they would be willing to go along with you. Because everything, the, 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 the alternative is better. You know? It's capitulator. Because like they their options... Assassinate. Their options are capitulator. Their op options are capitulator die. That's their options. And the okay, North Koreans are going to be too starving. I feel like it won't work. You know, I know we, we put... it won't work. It won't work. Look how many times we tried to kill Fidel Castro on an island where no one could get to him, and we couldn't fucking do it. The, we 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 wouldn't be able to assassinate him. The, the U.S. is incompetent of assassination. I refuse to believe they could do anything according to plan. <laughs> That's why I refuse to believe that the U.S. killed JFK. They couldn't even kill Fidel Castro. They couldn't kill one fucking guy. They couldn't do it. No matter. They even tried a full stage coup and failed. So I, I don't know if people have noticed this, but when the U.S. tries to coup a place, it usually fails. We're we're, we're good Not at toppling. China, though. Oh, China? I don't so know. They, so they China... have the, the mutual trust with it, I, I guess a bit. Just, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't think China wants to deal with. I don't. China. I don't think China wants to do with nuclear retaliation. And even if Chinese did it, and you could prove it was China, they would still think it was us. So would it matter? Yes, it's true. And who would take power? You would have to pray to fucking God that it's a general. It's not as crazy as he was. So I don't true. want to take that risk. At least the fat man is, you know, an easy person to make enemy. And I don't think he'll kill himself. I don't think he'll. I don't think he's even got the balls to kill himself like Adolf Hitler. I don't think he could even do that. He'll be captured like Saddam Hussein and fucking probably hung. So, which to be fair, I think Saddam Hussein <laughs> had less human rights violations than fucking Kim Jong Un. So, that says <laughs> something. Flood the Greek borders with ba main battle tanks taking their capital, yeah. What? North Korea is just a, a big problem that is, unlike other countries, it will have to be dealt with in the next 15 years. It has to be. That country yeah. cannot exist for the, the uh, to uh, for the rest of the world to progress. That country can't exist. So. I agree. There's a reason that not only the U.S. but multiple countries are trying to stop the rise of new nuclear powers, because all new nuclear powers have the same mind con the same mindset that the Russians and the U.S. had when they first got nuclear weapons is that we'll just threaten to use them as much as possible. But uh, the problem is that nuclear gunboats, gunboat, you know, what is it? Not gunboat. Uh, shotgun. Uh, what is it? Shotgun philosophy or whatever it's called. That doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Because countries laugh at new countries with nuclear weapons. Because they know they have a better arsenal. And they know they have weapons yeah, that exactly. can destroy them. <laughs> and they know they have more of them and could produce more of them if they wanted to. You know, it, it, no, one, no, one, no one takes new, new nuclear powers too seriously. And when I say nuclear power, you know what I mean. I'm not talking about, like, oh, they built a nuclear reactor. I'm talking about they're starting to build yeah, nuclear like... weapons. So. Yeah, I know what you meant. North Koreans can't do anything. Like they're literally fucked on on all fronts. Military military wise, they're fucked. Navy navy wise, you know, land force, they're fucked. Navy wise, they're fucked. Air force, they're fucked. Nuclear arsenal, they're fucked. They're just fucked. Like there's nothing they can do. I mean, millions would die. Seoul would be completely would be fucked for a long period of time. But uh, they, unlike North Korea, they would be able to rebuild. So, because they have the they they have the uh, the infrastructure to do so if they wanted to, so which they would. And like you said, like we South Korea has already said that Pyongyang would no longer exist. So at the end of the day, it would be which city would look worse? Fucking Seoul, that the, suffered the brunt of the attack, or Pyongyang that will suffer the retaliation. So with no mercy. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, 
and then you'll hear the fucking uh, liberals in America uh, claim South Korea and Japan just gonna leave. The Pyongyang you know, did nothing Korea. wrong. North Korea did nothing <laughs> wrong. They're misunderstood. You guys are just racist and anti-communist. It's like, yeah, no shit, we're anti-communist, you fucking retard. <laughs> Have you seen what communism has done? It's horrible. Uh, when you're arguing you're anti-fascist, of course I am. Uh, the fascist regimes are fucking brutal dictator states that purge millions. Chris, no they're not. You just don't understand. <laughs> the, the, the left that, that the support. What was that? What was that fucking uh, Venezuelan, the Venezuelan leader or whatever? Uh, not Venezuela. Was it Venezuela? Uh, Chet Guevara, whatever his name was. The left who supports that. Even though he literally destroyed his fucking country and killed killed shitload of people, but because he was promoting the right idea, you know. Fucking Bernie, look at Venezuela. Venezuela can do socialism. Why can't the U.S.? Like yeah, well Venezuela is also a fucking a third world hellhole, so. Their currency is literally <laughs> worth nothing. I think it's like three billion of their dollars equals like twenty cents or something. Like their currency is worth nothing now. Before the con basically for the socialist revolution, there, their economy was expected to be booming, kind of like China, because they have massive oil uh, reserves and they were yeah. selling it. And then after communism took over and all the produ means of production and stuff like that went to them. All of a sudden, they didn't have any medical supplies. They didn't have any money. Nothing like that. Like everything started failing one after another. All the corporations that invested there, that had plants and facilities that hired Venezuelans and whatnot, they left. So. They said, "Fuck this shit." Fuck. Like, yeah, they fucked themselves. <laughs> I'm gonna tell like how biased every talk is. He only talked about um, the Anna and uh, Anne debate, but not about the Chen Huger and Ben Shapiro. Hmm, Who did Anna why. debate? Uh, Ann Coulter. Oh, that must have been hilarious to watch. I haven't watched that one. I didn't know she <laughs> did that. It's kind of sad when they're both, you know, retards. Yeah, they're both fucking brain dead meat puppets. So. But the person who was the biggest retard was another person debate. It was Chen's cousin. Or some shit. God damn, Hassan or whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, literally. Is that the guy that literally every now and then? Is that the guy that every now and then hosts on the Young Turks? Like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that guy's retarded. That guy's dumber than all of them. That guy's. That guy makes a, like makes a said, box of rocks look smart. Like. Like he said something so fucking dumb that I was like, like shocked. I forgot what he fucking said. Ah. It was something so painfully dumb. I was thinking, what? It was that stupid? Yeah, he, he's that fucking stupid. Well, I mean, I know oh, he's dude. that stupid. I'm just, just saying. I can't do anything about the city of Argos here because it's a fucking island. Um, but I can shoot it with my artillery and almost kill it. <laughs> should, we just, should we just nuke it? Uh, I don't have a nuclear missile. Do you? I don't have a nuclear missile in that area. Do you have one? Ah, uh, fuck. Let me see. Yeah, see, this is kind of a... Okay, wait, can you just bring a destroyer from your bay up there, up around the, the northern tip of Africa there, take it and, like, burn it to the ground or some shit? Yeah, oh, oh yeah, just, just do that. My my artillery can nuke it into non existence from here. And you could probably take it in one turn. So I'm already starting to trying to move after because after we crush Greece here, I'm gonna all these units I'm moving over here are gonna go to the ocean. I'm moving them down to the 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 coast of um, South America here. I need to start moving these ships down and around the coast here. Yeah, I'm, about to assume so I'm gonna have eight behind, nuclear uh, missiles so... ready in these missile cruisers here. Now I'm wondering, should we attack from all from one side, or should we come from each side and just meet up in the middle? 
Uh, maybe each side, maybe the middle. Are you come? Are you attacking I'm from the south or the north? I'm coming from the the right hand side here, so the south. That's how I'm gonna come from the far south, because that's where the majority of my units are right now. So you come from the north then, because you can already you can already land from up there anyways. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just uh, move right after this turn and I'll start moving the troops. Oh, I should probably start building some stadiums there. Whoa, 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 whoa. A barbarian encampment? Are you. Whoa. I turned my sensitivity on my mouse too far up. There we go. Really? I gotta go deal with this barbarian. Why do I have a group of great war infantry here? Wow. That's pretty <laughs> old right there. I think I need to upgrade them, huh? Yeah. Are you, why have we been neglected? They were why? hidden. They were hidden by uh, St. Petersburg's name. I didn't see them there until I zoomed in. Because I was trying to move a unit there and it wouldn't let me. I was like, what is going on here? I'm going to do that. Okay. It's going to be a little bit before I can launch my assault. Cause I got a lot of Stop units saying. to move into, into, into down around the coast of Africa here. To well, actually, you know what? How close are you? Okay, you, your city of Kyoto is right there. You attack from the uh, the Denise River area, so from the north, and I'll, I'll we'll, 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 we'll both. And I'll attack from the south. Yeah, I'm still attacking from the south. Never mind. I don't know what I... Never mind. Don't, don't pay attention to me. I was fucking tripping. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to do. I don't know what I was going on about there. Unit needs moved. I'm not sure I'm going to get his allies with... No, his allies with no one. Jeez. Jeez. Am I going to land in Kabo? I might make Kabo an ally. Oh, to the south there? Yeah, if you oh, can, north hey, more, oh north, okay. How much gold do you have? Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. Can I have a small loan of like five thousand gold? Right, sure. Because I, 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 I just been forty gold because I, I just don't trust no my economy. <laughs> well, something's <laughs> fucked up. I fucked up somewhere. I'm making only three hundred turn out of the like over thousand I was making. Uh, I'm making 22, 2026, 20, uh, 1700 in total expense of 378 gold on units, 421 on building maintenance, 14 spent on tile improvement, 900 to other. Oh, nah, okay. 5,000 gold? Yeah, 5,000 gold. That's true. Because I have 23 gold right now. Boost my little war effort there. Ah, I took Sparta in one turn. Get the fuck out of here. My my giant death robot fucking took it immediately. What the fuck? Okay, creep up it. Well, Greece has one city and then they're done. That was hilarious. I wasn't. I attacked once with an APC. They were in half health. I was like, okay, I was attacking it. Took it. I'm. I'm I'm just surprised. See, that's I because the reason I'm down, I was down to 23 goals. I wasted 3,000 on uh, Sedan down south, and I'm gonna land in Sedan. That way, I can hurry up and get my units on on the ground. So yeah. Got some giant death robots going on. Some death robot action. Wait. Ooh, fucking well, I, I, I accidentally closed out of a thing. It said we made peace with uh, with Rome. You're all wrong. 
<laughs> what the fuck? I'm very confused, as about... <laughs> that was weird. I was about to say, I'm I don't... confused. That this bazooka's person that happened, they don't... It doesn't even... It's not truly like my unit. Like, what do you it mean? disappears in the shadow. Which, which, which bazooka? Where? I had to cancel like, my where... last mission, my one soldier. Well, where on, where on the I map? He's by Colombo. He's up north by the sheep. Um, Colombo. Colombo. Okay. Uh, where is he at? He's Next near... Next you'll be able to see him. Yeah, he's in the shadow. In the sheep. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> Colombo's got sheep to the south, right? Like, on that road? Leading out? Of Colombo? Um... No, my city, Colombo. Yeah, that's what I'm looking Colombo. at. I don't see... Oh, yeah, south from you. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Sheep, yeah. Yeah, he's right there. But I, don't I don't see him. Yeah, exactly. That's just, like, weird. It's like, what the fuck? I move my soldier and he just disappears, like, in the shadow. Are you sure... Are you sure he's... Technically exists? Like, maybe he's a glitch from... One of the AI. I moved him last time I thought, but, you know... We'll see next turn. <laughs> Cause I don't see. So he's in the shadow right there. Just right there where that farm is or whatever. Yeah, he's in the fucking shadows. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you sure he's? Are you sure he's yours and not an enemy? Cause you know, Greece is white also. I mean, they're white and blue, but. Bro, I would bend well, I mean, if, destroy them. If it's an enemy, yeah. I'm pretty sure Columbo would be able to fire <laughs> upon it. So I don't. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I had a, I had a problem once when the single player might that units disappeared. So yes, it was fun. <laughs> I was assaulting an enemy, and uh, I forgot that uh, when you declare war, it pushes you out of the borders, right? And yeah. and I had a shield of death robots, and it pushed them all out, and I went from like thirty to like ten. I was like, uh, 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 where, where did they go? I, they were they, they just disappeared. <laughs> and my only my only thought. Uh, reasoning about it is that I, I guess when it pushed them out there must have just, just been not enough room and they just removed them like they just deleted them I didn't get any of my uranium back so I was fucked when that comes to that but yeah <laughs> what the fuck yeah I got fucked uh... dude it's seriously boned by the way move a destroyer up towards uh, Argos yeah I was moving it it's oh, okay. like four turns or some shit which is kind of like in a weird fucking area. You have to go like all the way around Africa. <laughs> Gotta go all the way around Africa. Africa, <laughs> Africa. No one wants to visit <laughs> Africa. <laughs> Except rich white people who think they're doing good. They have bragging rights. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I taught kids in Africa for a year. Good for fucking you. You know that that yeah, that much of a so really good person. If you're gonna sit there and brag about it, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Damn, it does well. You really have like you need to upgrade some of these tanks. Like there's a tank unit north of Kyoto behind this modern tank armor right there that uh is not upgraded. I do that on purpose. I use a lot of aluminum for uh, jets and stuff too. Well, you know you could upgrade to the uh, death robot, right? Death robot. If you have the yeah. uranium, and it'll give you that aluminum only back. Only one. Wait, you don't have enough aluminum? How much robot. aluminum do you have? Uh, I'm making more. Let me see. How much do you fucking have? To click on the you're see like I'm trading aluminum. Ooh, now I have zero. You have no I aluminum. Have 19 oil, though. Yep, no aluminum. I have 19 oil, you... cold, though, so I can... All that territory, and there's not a single bit of aluminum? Like, anywhere? It's Africa! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but... Chris, I don't know what you're expecting from this place. But I make the most out of this shit, nigga. You can't have no aluminum. I modern armor. So wait, why the fuck do I'm not considered having aluminum? Because I don't think modern it's armor weird. requires aluminum. I thought it required oil. No, it requires aluminum. Does it? Maybe after a certain mm -hmm. tech level, it just doesn't anymore. I don't know. I have no, I have no like, idea. It's weird, I went to, cause, okay, I went to trade with you, right? If you hover over it, it'll tell you what it requires to build. 
Not too much faith is blocking the fucking. Oh, here I can tell you real quick. Production. Oh, units. Modern armor. Yeah, it requires so one aluminum. Weird. Mechanized infantry don't require aluminum though. Oh yeah, now I'm getting fired up. Troops to. I'm having only one giant death robot. Freedom is the only way. Gun. Wait, do you not do you not have any uh uh uranium? I'm more? just waiting until I waste all my nukes first. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. I mean, if you don't, you know, it'll give you a negative effect for having negative uranium. So, yeah. Uh, I know about that firsthand. See, I can't move any of these units here until fucking <laughs> Argos is gone. Um, I'm moving just a small bit of my infantry first. Because Caboose kind of a small area, so, you know. I'm moving. I'm moving my entire fucking army. I'm going to thrust my girth all the way into the fucking southern tip of fucking South America. I'm going to make it the, my the, big. The... Weird. <laughs> oh, no, I'm messing. It's going to be like straight out of a hentai. It's going to be coughing up fucking white foam after I'm done with South America. <laughs> Oh, fuckers. That's pretty wrong, ain't it? Making nigga worry. I've seen some fucked up hentai before, man. I've clicked on links I wish I've never clicked on because people are fucking assholes. So. <laughs> Tipples increase gold production. <laughs> yes. I just got. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm uh, upgrading piety right now, or piety or whatever. And there's that theocracy thing. Yeah. Tipples increase it. Uh, a city's gold output by 25%. Holy, holy sites produce plus three gold. I was making like less. I was making like I think it was like 500 gold. I went to 1165 by doing that because the sheer amount of temples from my cities. All right, yeah, let's repeal both of those. Mm -hmm. Let's just do. I'll do eight to that and eight to the other one. <laughs> oh, they can't do anything. It's funny. It's funny when you did. What? What happened? No, I'm just wondering, where the fuck is my destroyer? I put... Is it going the other way? Or no, it's right here. It's to the south of Colombo. Okay. America, fuck yeah. Freedom is the only way. <laughs> I love that fucking commercial, I swear to God. That's not, it's not, it's, that's a song from, uh... Yeah, uh, that's a song, but it fucking oh, fuck. reminds me of that commercial. What was the movie called with the puppets? Oh, fucking hell, dude. Uh, dude, I'm so triggered right now, I gotta look it up. One second. That is from Team America World Police. That's what it's from. America, fuck yeah. America. America. America, fuck yeah. Fuck the dick, America. Fuck yeah. Freedom is the only way. Fucking troops, I'm gonna have to fucking move. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking song, dude. So fucking, it's so fucking stupid, like, it's so stupid yeah. it's good.
America, fuck yeah, dude. Uh, next time I play, I'm gonna choose America again, and that that's that's like that should be America's <laughs> theme song. Fuck our shitty national anthem. That should be our fucking song, dude. Fuck our shitty national. <laughs> yes. Uh... That or like let the bodies hit the floor, you know. Or fucking Thunderstruck by ACDC. Any of those, you know. Back in Black. You know, something, something. We need something hard fucking core. We need to stand out. Enough of this old, you know, 200 year fucking old bullshit ass song. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, we need, we need to modernize our national anthem. It eats fucking goats, blood everywhere. It needs fucking satanic imagery. It needs flashing seizure inducing <laughs> lights. Like, it needs pyrotechnics like there's nobody's fucking business. Like, it's, it, it, yeah. it just needs to be literally the most epic thing anyone's ever saw, ever. Like, in the gift shop, they need to fucking, like, it, it, like not even the gift shop, like, during the, during the fucking National Anthem, they'll throw, they'll throw little, uh, little tin things of fucking eagle tears into the fucking crowd. That's what they'll do. Eagle tears? And it'll be, fucking it'll have yeah. the Twin Towers yeah. engraved onto the little metal thing. It says, never forget. There we go. Those and the gifts up the shell parts of Osama bin Laden's beard, you know, like. <laughs> I think that would generate quite a bit of money. The same. I think you will, you will attract every conservative from a ten mile radius from you. I think the most annoying part about having such a big fucking army is to move it. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, to move it. I haven't. I haven't. I still haven't got it down in Civ Six yet. Like I still haven't got it complete. I haven't actually had the time to play it. I'll be honest with you. Civ yeah. Six. The only. I think that by the time I'm gonna learn it, it'll have to be during my big. My next break is. Uh, is uh Thanksgiving I get a week off so I'll I'll sit down and probably grind through it learn how to all the mechanics I I didn't do too bad like I I have I've never done so far I've never done economically bad I just can't wage war like no matter what See, I okay, do at, I'm so fucking outdated person. what okay I'm gonna wake this unit he's he's there you see him now one second Columbo no. He's not. I don't see him on Columbo. I don't see anyone there. I can move him though. What is, what is this? <laughs> what is this invisible force? I just moved him. I don't see him. What the fuck? The only thing at Columbo I see in the water is uh, a tank, is that... a artillery piece, and then another tank, and then your what destroyer. What about that mechanized infantry on the land? By the destroyer. You see yeah, I see, I see that. Guy? And to, oh, that that's the bazooka guy you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I see him now. Go. Yeah, he wasn't there beforehand. What the fuck is this? I I think that's a glitch, Desbo. I think that's what I think that's what that is. America, fuck yeah, Desbo in your fucking turn. <laughs> I had a feeling he was gonna say that. <laughs> 